up, y'all? Thanks for tuning into my channel. So this is going to be a reading for this full moon on October the 13th. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you know when I post videos or post my content. Um, and let me know down below what you guys have been feeling for this full moon. Because, <clears throat> like, I tried to record this video and it, like, stopped. And I don't, it didn't say like, oh, your storage is full or anything like that. So I ended up like deleting like, videos and stuff like that. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just had a vivid dream and I just woke up and I'm about to do this reading. So, yeah. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe that wasn't the right time. That's what I got. But shoot. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Such interesting energy is going on right now. Like I feel like I'm in a dream. I look I woke up. I literally I feel like I'm in a dream, guys. And you already know, like I look by the 13 zodiac signs, and today the full one is supposed to be in Pisces, so I really am feeling that dreamy energy. And I've never felt it like this before. Ever. Until I started going by like the 13 zodiac. So now it's like the true essence of the sign is coming out. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. God, I really hope you guys can see. So yeah, the Eight of Wands. This card keeps coming out. Justice. Ten of Swords. Alright. So, what I'm getting from this is that, okay. First of all, if there was somebody that was, that had hurt you, they're getting their justice. Um, the karmic scales are balancing. Also, and I feel like it's coming fast. Something is happening very quickly to somebody. Um, also for others of you who had gone through this, I feel like there is a healing of that or moving away from that. And that is happening quickly, um, or that had happened quickly. So yeah, it looks like somebody got hurt here and maybe somebody hurt somebody and then ran away from the situation. But also I feel like some of you guys left a situation and for some of them, that's their karma. And now they're dealing with other shit. Or it was just their karma for you to leave their life. But yeah, and to drop the pain that they caused. And the betrayal that was ha that had happened. Yeah. I feel like whatever happened... It ricocheted off of you and back onto them. Which, like, got them into this position here. I really hope you guys can see because the lighting right now. The Fool. I really gotta stop doing readings at 12 p.m. In the Fool colder months because the way the planet is moving right now the chariot wonderful that's exactly what I said that's exactly what I said 
King of Wands. Okay. So what I'm getting from this is that there's a new beginning for you guys to move into something so much better, so much more fulfilling, something that you're passionate about. Um, like I said, you were able to move out, out of these situations. This is in the middle of your whole reading, your chariot. That's also the moon. It's ruled by the moon. So the moon is helping you guys propel into something new. Helping you guys to take charge in your lives. Like taking charge, charging forward. That's what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? Just coming into that regal energy, that regal vibe. And owning your shit. You know what I'm saying? Owning the things that you've been through. And really like using that to grow. To help that, help your you put on that crown, your crown chakra. It's helping you understand certain things. If you guys are getting getting downloads during this moon, um, it's like it's gonna be coming through your crown chakra. That's what I'm getting. But you got y'all guys are gonna be getting messages through your crown chakra about like a new beginning or a new place that you're about to be going, something along those lines. You guys are moving into new territory is what i'm getting and in that territory it's like you're gonna be like if you were like down you're about to be like raised up you have the magician you guys have a lot of major arcana the stars yep Nine of Cups. Wonderful. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups. So once again, walking away from situations that no longer serve you. All right. So you have the Magician, the Star, and the Nine of Cups. So I'm getting that you're, you need to, you need to speak with the moon. You need to go outside. Because like I said, this is in the middle of your whole reading, your chariot. You need to go outside and speak to your ancestors, speak to the universe, speak to the stars, create, manifest. This is the perfect time to manifest your dreams into reality. Manifest your way out of certain situations. That's what I'm getting from this. You are able to manifest your way out of something. Something that no longer is emotionally fulfilling for you. Eight of Cups. It's just not, it's not doing it for you. It's not. So now it's time for you to get in this Piscean energy of the Nine of Cups and, you know, just be happy. Be happy. Wish upon a star. Have faith in the things that you're creating for yourself. Whenever you're manifesting, don't have any doubt. Whenever you're putting your attentions out into the, the universe, um, talking to the moon, you know, asking her for this her or him for this new beginning for you have no doubt ask and you shall receive that's exactly what i'm getting from this reading ask and you shall receive and for a lot of you guys i feel like it'll happen quickly charging ahead quickly like i feel like a lot of you guys if you guys were tangled up in a situation you will become untangled you will find a way to untangle yourself because, like I said, it's part of the cosmic divine um, will. It's part of your will. Right? How many major arcana did y'all get? One, two, three, four, five. So five equals change. So there is a change coming. There is a change coming. All right? Five, I see that associated with the sign of Leo. So, you guys, if, if you got anything from this reading, I say to manifest, manifest, manifest. 
put your intentions out today do what you can just pray even you don't have to do anything elaborate just pray tonight all right so yeah i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you later